Hello everyone. In this video, let's have a look at this question that someone requested about a karma. Let's see, someone did something bad to you and you wonder what karma will they get for that? What will happen to them for the things that they've done? And this is not going to be only romantic karma. It can be any karma. I mean, any. Um, I just wanted to say that sometimes when we meet people that are horrible to us and do bad things to us, sometimes it's already the karma, you know, that we did before. We were bad to them in the past life, and now they, it's their turn to be bad for us, so that we learn what it's like to to you know to be on the other side so we we don't know whether um you know it's a karma or is is they are doing it first you know maybe on the soul level we somehow agree to have that experience for some sort of spiritual growth but of course it doesn't justify anyone's bad behavior and uh and yeah i think situations where you cannot avoid seemingly for example childhood abuse in the family or abuse when you're very very vulnerable family within the family especially or as a child where you seemingly do not have any choice for example you're three years old you have no choice so of course this is most likely karmic relationship with that person um and um for example, a negative karmic relationship. But then you have a person who really supports you in school, for example, a good teacher or one relative or a friend who supports you, saves you. This might be a good karma with that person. So it's not all black. Uh, There are things that some people recover from things, which is their karma to recover. And there are situations where some people are just seemingly going down and down and no one saves them so most likely they do not even have um in their life's plan to meet a savior they do not have a karma with a spiritual teacher or a spiritual savior yeah that's what i learned in the seminar where i went to anyway so just the introduction now let's move on and have a look at these cards what kind of karma will this person get for what they've done and this is not only romantic it can be anything in general what kind of life will they have if you'd like to participate please think of a person uh, that hurt you or that's a bad person um can be someone's good karma you can think you know good behavior good things that they've done and uh what kind of karma will they get for that so once you thought of a person please choose your deck and we'll start Have you chosen your deck? <clears throat> so let's start with our deck number one, Tarot of Denial. Tarot of Denial. So Let's have a look at that person. Where are they focusing on life? Now let's have a look. What kind of karma will they get? For the things that they done. 
this is like a timeline I'm pulling five cards what kind of person they are we have the four of swords we have maybe a person that's passed we might have a person that's very ill we might have a person who is in jail we might have a person who is very blocked in their mind who doesn't have mind as if uh, this person is non-functional, this person is in some sort of loop where they don't think. This person at this moment might not even be alive. Not be alive or be in jail, prison, or something like very ill, insane, for example, depressed, maybe disabled, um, bedridden, things like that. Where are they focusing the emperor power? They want power. Four and four. The card of rebellion. The number of rebellion, the number of basically of structure but also rebellion against the structure so they might be a bit um, different than normal they might be different than normal so yeah it's interesting um, the person might be very ambitious and crave for power let's say they might uh, have leadership qualities and they might want to be some sort of leader in charge, you know, the alpha, the macho, the, some sort of uh, be in the throne. But right now it's as if they are very weak or undecisive or energetically, I don't know, somehow weak. So let's have a look at uh, what kind of karma they're going to get. So we have this some sort of relationship card. The tower. And first of all, you know, maybe they betray the trust of someone. They betray the trust uh, of someone and... Uh, There's something with relationships. Uh, definitely they're gonna get um, a relationship or a situation where they're gonna be uh, stuck and will not be able to leave. Maybe they're gonna get a horrible wife. Maybe they're gonna have a very, uh, un very bad marriage or something. They might even, maybe this whole situation is happening because they broke a relationship, they cheated maybe, or uh, they betrayed the trust of someone. It can be not a romance, it can be at work, it can be um, in friendships, it can be in any type of relationships. And so it can be, you know, betraying the friendship, breaking the promise, you know, that sort of thing. And as a result, you know, they might, uh, against their will, be forced into some sort of either situation or relationship where they have no power, where they will be controlled by others. You know, so because power is what they crave for, power is what they live for, I'm dramatizing, but emperor is kind of wanting stability and that oh, success and, you know, things like that and being strong, uh, the karma that they will get probably will be through people that uh, who will take their freedom away from them and as you can see, there is a choice. There's even a queen of swords can be a legal person, like a judge or a female, or in the next life maybe, or later in this life, some sort of woman who might become like a bad for them, who will be in charge. You know, they'll have to taste what it feels like to be under someone's control. 
and uh, when it comes to choice they will not be able to make that choice and even, even, even if they make a choice they will be stuck in a very toxic and healthy relationship with uh, the opposite sex uh, you know which is gonna be very difficult like jail like prison where they will not be able to escape actually they're energetically they might be in prison it's, it's a sort of prison you know wanting to be in control all the time uh, it's lack of flexibility lack of tolerance I don't know acceptance it becomes like a mental jail so the vibration I think is the same of wanting to be in control and, and being under control is kind of the same thing so I think they will just appear on the opposite side of that okay let's just ask again why are they doing what they're doing why do they want that power why do they want that power why do they do those things well eight of wands is basically action without thinking more it's uh, some sort of instinct it's um, coming from within like you know maybe they talked a lot about it maybe gave it a lot of thought you know thought and uh, and it was something they couldn't control why did they did something horrible and it's some sort of unity that they wanted with someone some sort of unity through aggression through pain and very unharmonious union I would say that they try to get um, no matter what you know it's like some sort of urgency to get somewhere to do something advice for you regarding this person I have six of swords I would say move away from them in your thoughts emotions feelings and in all possible ways you don't have to think of them you don't have to worry about them but it's best to avoid them it's best to distance yourself from them so this is our reading number one, like a five card draw of what kind of karmic uh, karma will we get for what they did. Now let's move on to our reading number two. Deck number two, it's golden tarot. We're reading about a person who has done something horrible to someone and we'll have a look at what kind of karma will they get. So first I want to ask about the person, tell me about the person, tell me where, the, where are they focused, also what kind of karma will they get for what they've done. Also, why did they do it? Why did they do it? And advice for you. What kind of person? We'll have a page of coins. Seems to be very, like, innocent person. Very positive person. Very not important person, let's say. Young. Uh, like a studious, intelligent maybe interested in money you know that sort of thing uh, very looks educated person and kind of maybe he, this person worked for you also some sort of financial connection is going now uh, where are they focused they're focused to like very um, to fight every everything and everyone maybe it's like fighting 
always being on a defensive side, you know, always imagine that everyone is attacking them. Like, so whatever they do, they do out of fear. They're doing in order to protect themselves from something or someone. It can be also pretty uh, confident in a way that they know what to say, how to defend themselves. So the, they have a little bit of that quality, maybe argumentative quality. Okay. So, um, what karma will they get for what they've done? Okay, so we have maybe, um, we have this tower breaking with some financial card um, and some power play and some cruelty and the star. Okay, so first of all, I think they'll get Mm, death okay and uh, they will die for it just what will happen to them uh, they might even suffer from some sort of um, government let's say they might pass in the hospital you know they might just uh, face no love uh, be before they die but they might face um, that cold institutionalized kind of feeling or maybe uh, doctors will give them a pill and they will die or you know there's something very scientific going on maybe in the hospital in the jail maybe it's a lethal injection or something you know if it's a criminal it's hard to say um, but definitely there'll be death by the hands of uh, authorities let's see authority and they're cold they are unemotionless uh, emotionless I mean and um, that fact itself can be pretty scary, I think. What else can we see here? Yeah, that's that's all I see. I see that it's going to be passing. It's going to be passing for this person. Uh, okay, let's see. What did they do? Why did they do it? Why did they do it? It seems they wanted to love or something. Like they were looking, they were just wandering around, traveling around somewhere. Like, uh, and they wanted to love someone. And uh, that probably came out wrong and um, somehow that love brought dead death maybe it's rape and murder So maybe it's causing someone to be ill, maybe it's making someone very depressed. So basically they maybe had a distorted view of what is love and what is good. Maybe they're not sane in their mind, I don't know. But here they will get the passing, the death as their karma. karma and this is advice for you regarding this person we have the ten of coins and uh, this card is talking about appreciation of your family and home if it makes sense love your family and home protect your home protect your family and it's some somehow talking about being happy so this is our reading this is our reading um you know maybe this person was rejected a lot um 
rejection constant. I don't know. Like they were going looking for love. They were looking for love. This love wasn't answered or even rejected. Then they tried to offer it again and again it was rejected. So So, and then some sort of might have like disaster happen. Disaster. Person might have been on drugs, pills, mental state not good. But like they are being taken care of in an institution or something. Like oh, that's their karma, that's how it is. So this is our reading number two. Yeah, and this card talks about uh, working with people, maybe more than your family, maybe a city, a country, or some sort of humanitarian help service, things like that. Okay, let's move on to our deck number three. This is my new deck, uh, Illuminati Tarot. I never wanted to buy this deck, I never thought I would, but I just bought it because it was super cheap um, and I'm pretty happy with it. So what kind of karma will this person get for what they've done? What kind of karma will they get? So tell us about the person, where are they focusing, and what will happen to them for what they've done. Also, why did they do it? An advice for you regarding this person. So, this person, Prince of Pentacles again. Okay, seems to be very seemingly um, reliable, very normal, very quiet, doing their thing. The person seems to be very logical, down to earth. Nothing special, nothing weird. Uh, a little bit can be quiet, a little bit can be um, boring, you know, stick to their routines. And maybe employed, the person might be employed, and they might be seen as not in a very high ranks and not having a very great job, but they might be pretty normal, you know. Now, where, where are they focusing? Is the lovers? Now, with the lovers, I'm actually worried because it, this comes very rarely. And this card can talk about some sort of perverted fantasies and, like, person is overly interested in love, dramatic, romantic love, so it can be all aspects of love, can be perverted aspects of love. So, let's move on, can be actually sex as well, person is interested in sex. What kind of karma will they get for what they've done? Queen of Pentacles, uh, okay, and... We have the Magician, Prince of Cups, lots of people, the Hangman, King of Wands. So people will, people are in every single card almost. You see the actually everywhere, Queen of Pentacles is a person, Alchemist is a person, Prince of Cups is a person, Hangman is a person, King of Wands is a person. Basically, they'll get their karma through people. They'll get their karma through people. It ends with the King of Wands. And uh, I think they'll get, they're looking for love, right? They're looking for love, and I think they've done something bad because we're doing this reading. So, you know, the King of Pentacles could be the, for example, the victim, the, the person they upset. 
and because she is a pentacle, she can be the rape victim. You know, with the alch alchemist, of course, there's some sort of cheating, manipulation of, you know, romantic level, so to say. And what they might get is the opposite of what they like when it comes to that. Maybe due to woman's initiation, the victim's initiation, you know, there's something wrong with maybe their with the victim's initiation, woman's initiation. Let's see, there might be mm, the punishment for them. It will come through from the King of Wands, for example. You know, so hard to understand actually what exactly these people will do to them, but. They might be trapped somehow by the King of Wands. And the King of Wands uh, will give them the opposite treatment of what they've done to someone else. He'll give them the opposite treatment, like, so to say, to taste their own medicine. Um, because this King of Wands might be also a bit insane and they might be a bit, um, you know, a bit strong. So, what will they get? Look, we have lovers, two of cups, ace of wands, and the emperor. Yeah, they might get lots of love, but from the opposite sex that they like. They might get... Um, Yeah, they might, uh, I think, be raped by someone who is their opposite sex, who they don't prefer, let's say. And uh, they, they, they're so obsessed with love. They're going to get that love a lot, a lot of it. But by the emperor. So it's going to be not female, if they like females. It's going to be by... A, a very manly male, <laughs> so to say. It's gonna be protection, it's gonna be a, like, you know, but uh, it shows in a bad aspect. Okay, why did they do this? Why did they do this bad thing to, to deserve this karma, you have the temperance? Ace of Swords can be they failed in self-control. And Ace of Swords, basically, they couldn't control themselves. They cannot control themselves. Self-control is not their strong suit. And this card can, yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, and it could be that they decided to do it despite of or the temperance, despite of the fact that they, despite, they decided not to, to, to think about the control, self-control, and they decided to ignore it. So they failed in that, and uh, there, there's an attack, there's kind of an action happening. Okay, and what is advice for you regarding this person, Nine of Cups? Advice for you is to be happy, to be happy, to be selfish, to, to award yourself, to please yourself, to, to have a good life, and, you know, to, to be absolutely love yourself to the fullest. Basically, there's nothing to be done about that person. There's only to be done about yourself. So you can be happy freely and love yourself, pamper yourself.
So this is our reading. I know this is a bit weird reading. This one, last one, I don't know. Maybe it became very uh, about rape. I'm seeing rape, um, abuse, uh, perversion, porn. You know, it can be something not normal here. You know, but... But I hope that, okay, please share with me in the comments, what do you think of this reading and did this really happen or am I seeing something crazy? So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.